Welcome back to another episode of What It Do in the Loop. Today, we're one of the best spots to go to in St. Louis if you want to buy or sell sneakers and clothing, whether it's vintage or brand new. Reset St. Louis has established itself as the hottest spot around to browse and purchase some of the best new sneakers on the market, and it's located in Maplewood at 2607 Bellevue Avenue off of Manchester. Bars, restaurants, and small businesses have inhabited in Maplewood for decades, making it a great place to do some shopping and grab some food. Let's take a look around, talk to the owner, and see what they have. What inspired you to open Reset? I guess like just wanting to have a job I enjoyed going to every day. I'd worked a lot of jobs and uh, just didn't enjoy them, you know, and I'd always done this on the side. It's always been a passion doing, you know, shoes, sort of video games, baseball cards, turning into clothes, um, was doing it on the side for several years. There wasn't a place like this in St. Louis, saw some other stores popping up around the country and figured why not do it here. So what would you say is your most expensive shoe in the store right now? Most expensive shoe would probably be like one of the off-white shoes. Okay. Um, I know we got a pair of Unions that push about two thousand dollars. Um, wow! So yeah, we got we got shoes anywhere from like a hundred dollars up to two thousand plus. And then, what would be your most expensive clothing item? Our most expensive clothing item would be some of our vintage T-shirts. Gotcha. Um, they range anywhere from like you know we have some that are ten dollars. We have some that you know our most expensive one goes up to about six thousand dollars. Six thousand dollars. Yeah, for, for one, one shirt. One T-shirt. That is crazy. Yeah. That is unbelievable. Yeah, people, they're very rare or sought after. Most and people pay that? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. It's, it's very common for shirts to sell for anywhere from $500 to $2,000. And then uh, another question I have for you. So one of the things, I guess, with owning this shop is fake items that come in. You know, oh, I guess that's one of the most <laughs> biggest things about, yeah. you know, making sure everything you have is authentic and real. You know, how yeah. do you guys go about making sure everything is 100%? Um, well, we see, we get a lot of our shoes direct from like Nike and stuff, like from online drops. So we get to see that authentic real pair that comes in. And then there's a lot of online tutorials you can take and learn, um, black light tests smell test oddly enough you can smell them and kind of smell if they're fake yeah. we're very thorough about it we're very if something just isn't right we just pins. we don't want to risk it it's not worth losing the reputation over it do you think that you know this whole culture that has started and is really you know booming right now do you think it is going to die out or do you think it's going to keep on growing and expanding more i think it's going to keep growing and expanding i mean just in the last you know two years from when we we've been open almost four years in the last two years it's really taken off um especially here locally but also nationally um more and more people are getting into it, um, especially with the vintage and the shoes. It's just, it's exploding. They put new stuff out all the time. They, they're they putting more Goodwill outlets. I mean, it's always gonna be changing and evolving. What was cool when I started doing this six, seven years ago, thrifting and stuff, isn't cool anymore. And now stuff that I was leaving at the, at the thrift store is stuff that's selling for 100, 500 bucks. You know, stuff like that that I was leaving years ago. So it's all it all just evolves and changes over time, just like with the shoes and the clothes, it all. It all comes back around eventually. Uh, you want to show us a few items that you picked out and just kind of give a little background about them and you know why they're you know going for what they go for. Yeah, absolutely, okay, man. Cool. So these are the uh, the Shans, the Air Max. Um, and how much does this shoe go for? This shoe, depending on the size, can run anywhere from like a thousand to fifteen, sixteen hundred. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, this is like a shoe I love. It's the uh, uh, Strange Love Nike SB collab with uh, Sean Cliver, Strange Love Skateboards. He okay. did a lot of the. Um, Super iconic skateboard graphics of the yep. 90s for like hookups, blind, birdhouse. Pretty much every skateboard company used the Sean Cliver graphic. Even Supreme used his graphics a lot. Interesting. Um, he's a really cool guy, does a lot of amazing stuff. He has two shoes out, but this is the one I really love. Okay, interesting. And uh, how much does this one go for? This one with the regular box runs anywhere from like 800 to 1300. If you get the special box, it can push 2000 and up. Um, and then you said that you also wanted to show us uh, one of your vintage yeah, pieces this here. Yeah, this is a $6,000. Well, it's. I want $6,000 for it, but this is the old Dirty Bastard of the Wu-Tang Clan, one of their more 
Wow. One of the more iconic wrap tees out there. Wrap tees are kind of the most sought after vintage tees. Um, this is the one I paid a little over 2500 for from my friend's store in Brooklyn. 2500 uh, even with a little tear there, it's still worth that That's character to it. Really? That's character, yeah. Really? It People has, still pay for yeah, it. Yeah, beautiful fade, cracking. That's just character to it. I love it. Um, it's not something I could ever wear. I can't pull it off, but it's one of those things like when you see it, you just got to get it because I may never have another chance to buy this again. Very cool. Very so, interesting. Yeah. Um, and then just kind of to wrap it up and kind of just shut yourself out and let us know how, you know, we can get in contact with you about buying or selling yeah, or anything. Absolutely. The best way to get in contact with us is through Instagram, uh, reset underscore STL for the St. Louis store, Kansas City's reset underscore KC. Just shoot a DM or give us a call at the store. We're happy to help you. And, uh, do what you need. Yeah, well, I really appreciate you, Bruce. It was really nice talking to you and asking you questions, and uh, thank you for having us. Absolutely, man. Thank you, guys. Appreciate yep. it. Awesome.